pull up this article from Black China. There's going to be, listen, there's going to be other women just like Black China who are going to regret. They are going to regret what they are doing and they're going to want to do over. They really are. Now, this according to uh, Yahoo. Celebrities like Black China and Cardi B are removing their butt injections. So I spoke with pla a plastic surgeon about these uh, butt enhancements. Now, this is uh, on her page. I guess this is where she's getting those fillers removed. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so I'm at the doctor's office right now. And as y'all know, I've been changing my life and changing my face. So she says that she's changing her life and she's changing her ways. I wonder why Black China is changing her life and changing her ways. Why would she need to change her her life and her ways? I, I wonder what would make her draw that conclusion. What would put her in a position where she has to do this? It's because a lot of these women, they when, when, when then they're no longer that it girl, they're not dating the rappers. They're not, you know, they just, they're just another chick in the industry. As I said, washed up, they don't have the husband, the family, you know, all the things they thought that getting all that surgery would get them. It doesn't get them that. So she wants to change her life and change her ways. <laughs> she must have heard about the passport bros. <laughs> it was a. Uh, and she must have heard about them passport bros and we're like, what? I need to change my ways. One of the things that I feel like is going to take me to the next level is obviously taking some of... Taking some of these ass shots out. And by the way, ass shots and a BBL is totally different. And I'm going to tell you why. A BBL is when they use your own fat. Ass shots is silicone. So... I just want all the ladies out there to know, do not get silicone shots because you can get sick, you can die, have complications and all this other crazy stuff. Yeah, um, people should know that. Anybody, any woman trying to get injections in 2023 is a complete moron and is again, desperate for male attention that she would go and get, uh, get those injections. Women should not even be thinking about injections in 2023. They should be, they should think twice about BBL, but I mean, if you get a BBL, so be it, you know, but I'm telling you right now, the only type of attention you're going to get from men is men trying to screw you. What's good, Gerald. That's the only type of attention. That's the only type of attention. A lot of you ladies are going to get, you get those BBLs. Dudes are going to want to smash. They're going to be, they're going to be intrigued. They're going to be turned on a bit, right? Because they're like, oh, she got she got a big butt now, you know, and they're going to hit it a few times. They're going to realize that you're still the same heifer you were before the surgery. And they're going to they're going to ghost you like they always do. I haven't had any crazy complications since I got it. I got it when I was 19 years old. But now I'm moving here in life. Mm. So I want this out of my ass so I can grow. She says she's moving in a different direction. <laughs> she sounds like the Alexa Scott chick. You know, she's, uh, I believe she's turning over a new leaf and she's giving her life to God. Why now? What I want to know is why now? Why, why do you now want to change your image and your ways? Again, let's get the likes up, people. We should have way more likes than this. I'm up here on this Friday streaming. Why does it take, <laughs> like, why now? Like, why is it now? What's good, Vernon? Why now are y'all trying to get these surgeries? Why, why, what, what what's making y'all make these decisions now in 2023? What's, what's the hurry? You know what I'm saying? What's, what's the hurry? Why are y'all trying to get this work done now? Right? Men will see you differently. And if y'all don't think it's about men, you're crazy. All these women, Brittany Renner too. 
All these women want to change their ways, right? Why now? That's another thing. But let me say this too. Let me let me let me say this too about uh the surgeries and and uh Black China real quick. Um what you will notice is that to them getting all these implants removed is is them trying to go back to zero, right? It's like when women go celibate, you know, they've been slinging that box a little too much and they got to show so now, you know, I don't think that women who are really faithful, who really don't deal with a lot of different men like that, they, I, I don't see the reason why they would need to go celibate. Uh, you know, that to me, and that's, I know it's not everybody, but usually when I see a lot of these women getting celibate, it's usually because they done threw that box around just a little bit too much, right? And they need a break <laughs> because they need a break, right? That's what it seemed to me. It's just like when they get these surgeries, right? They believe that these surgeries are going to reset something. If your mentality is screwed up, nothing will be resetted. But we all have to go through a point to where we try to change everything. And we do that by basically you know trying to fix what we can fix and with her it's the surgeries but you got to fix your mind as well the type of people that you're around the type of activities that you deal with right are you partying are you are you a drinker are you still drinking are you have you given up alcohol these are the things that we need to know you know i, I saw somebody put up a post on uh instagram right or they reposted on instagram and it was about Ashanti and it was talking about how she's 43 and she's always on a beach. She ain't got no kids. She ain't got no husband. Right. There's going to be a lot of women like this. The, the, the amount of single women out here is crazy. No wonder you got these males talking about stay in America. All these women here, because there is a lot of women here, but these women are mentally screwed up. These women are mentally screwed up. They're mentally screwed up. And because they're mentally screwed up, they can't be fixed. A lot of these women can't be fixed. That's good, Severe. They can't be fixed. You cannot fix these women. You just can't. I see this a lot. I see, I see a lot of these women get interviewed, right? And they get on these these shows not not everybody has a show where they have like two or three guys and a bunch of helpers and they and they're sitting around and it just looks mad awkward the women you know what i'm saying and the women are not answering truthfully the dudes are throwing softball questions y'all really think that these women are really gonna change for y'all there's too much attention out here for them and there's too many ways of getting money out of men out here for them to be able to um, stop what they are doing. You know, they have to learn on their own. Y'all trying to save them. You know, they don't want to be saved. Right. I think the women that listen to me are women who are in a category that is. Um, they under they have self-awareness. A lot of these other women have no self-awareness. Even, you know, I, I I even see women attempt to speak on things the way that men are, especially me and other men, and they attempt to. But again, it's about the self-awareness. A lot of these women have zero self-awareness. That's why a lot of them are single. That's why you don't see the progression in their lives. Because a lot of them are who they are and they're not going to change. It doesn't matter how many surgeries you try to reverse. You cannot reverse your mentality, Black China. Your mentality cannot be reversed no matter what you do. But I guess because now she has gained the money, she's gained the notoriety. She doesn't need that stuff anymore. You see, she needed the the the, the injections in order to get a uh, you know to get attention from rappers and others, male celebrities, right? She feels like she doesn't need that anymore, and because she feels like she doesn't need that anymore, now she's comfortable speaking about 
removing them because she doesn't feel like she needs them anymore. She has those monetary things she's always wanted. And now she's going to what live a different life. Are you going to go into a different line of work? Now she did take down her only fans. She took down her only fans, which a lot of other women wouldn't do, but she's made a lot of money off it. Right. Maybe she feels like she doesn't need to be on there anymore. She's made a lot of money. And I, I feel like there might be other women that may follow her footsteps, but I truly believe that these women are not capable of changing. I think they are who they are. I see some of you guys trying, you're, you're hoping and you're, I mean, if you are religious, you're praying that these women will change. They will never change. This is who they are. We have to accept them for who they are. We have to accept them. You know, you got men that don't. A lot of you men are going to get fooled. It's hard to work on. You know, yeah. that's the whole thing. It's hard. She's talking to a doctor. One second. See if I, okay. They say part two. I guess this is the part two. Her talking to the doctor. Hard the to the doctor. On. You know, other things that you can see, you can see deformities. I've seen it all. You can see deformities. You can see a discoloration of the skin. You don't have those problems, but you can see a discoloration of the skin. You know, people are concerned about that. You can see thinning of the skin. You can see all kinds of things going on. So the best thing is just don't do it. Don't do it. If you have some issues, you want to try to have that removed, and then you can see us. You know, we'll tell you the facts. We'll tell you, hey, yes, you can or we can't, you know. The last thing you want to do is have those injections and then you say there's nothing to do but a major surgery. And that major surgery, you're being cut from here to here. Mm. It's very disfiguring. I've seen it, you know. And the women are very sad that they had to have that done because they got to just completely open it up, go in and cut out like those baseballs to cut out those chunks because there's nothing else you can do. So don't do it. Don't get to that point and understand how dangerous it is if you're playing Russian roulette. That's what they have to understand. They're playing Russian roulette. They might as well take that bullet, put it in a revolver, spin the chamber, put it through their head. That's the game that they're playing. Okay. Y'all hear that? Hey, ladies, out here getting these injections, which you shouldn't be getting. Y'all getting me all these surgeries. You're playing with your health. You shouldn't need to do that. They got women doing videos where they are literally showing you how to build a bigger butt. But y'all want to spend y'all want to spend your time on on social media. You know, throwing up thirst traps and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It, it, it ain't like nothing going on in your social life, you know? Okay, something say, well, nothing happened. Well, you're lucky. You can spin that chamber and nothing happens. All right? I, but I, got, I not, got lucky. You got lucky. I, I got lucky. I, I got it when I was 19 years old, you know, and I was dealing with it and everything was fine. And then as I continue to get older and older, I can start to feel the balls, like literally like balls inside. You couldn't physically see it, but I could feel it. Then if, if I would bump it or if I'm, excuse my language, have an intercourse and somebody slaps it hard enough, mm. then it would like inflame <laughs> and, and become like super, super, super big and it make me sick. Almost like I had, not like the flu. But oh, just like man. <laughs> Yo, she said if somebody, she's having intercourse with somebody and they would smack it, then she, it was, it would have a, um. Uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't go well for her. I wonder how many times that has happened. <laughs> Cause she's had those injections since she was 19. Like ill. So I'm like, you know what? This enough is enough. This stuff has to come out, you know, and, and I, I was concerned like afterwards, because um everybody was like, you know, the surgery went over the time and Matlock, he really was in there for you and all that. But you you could tell me because I mean yeah. What happened? I'm going to show you what I call these silicone pearls. And you're going to see all that stuff. 
on her, what it did actually, on the cannula that you're working through the tissue, okay, and through that scar tissue and through that silicone and all of that, it starts, it starts clogging the, the cannula. So it mm. won't suck anymore. I have to take it out, I have to take a forceps and remove it. So I'm gonna show you all that. Some are small enough to go through, but some are just big enough that it's just, it's, it's clogging it up. So Ooh. all that went on. So you gotta stop, you have to clear it. And sometimes it's so dislodged in the cannula that we use to suck out the product and everything. Um, uh, you have to take the cannula off and take a syringe and flush it with a, a saline solution to try to get it out of the chamber so it will suck again, you know. Yeah. So that's uh, that's the thing, that's the issue, that's the problem, the best thing. I mean, if we can just get people, just, just don't do it. You know, they can... Well, let me just say this. Um, I'm continuing on, but I, I want y'all to understand something. At some point, maybe, the women who are getting... Uh, these are uh, maybe the ones that are getting, like you said, the Brazilian butt lifts. Maybe they don't want that anymore, right? Maybe they don't want the injections they shouldn't have gotten either anyway, right? Uh, that's going to happen because when those women are no longer getting that attention and that loneliness creeps in, they realize their body looks a, looks a certain way that they may not even like how it looks because, again, they do it for male attention. They do not do that for themselves, Black China got those implants because I don't, I don't know if she was scripting at the time, but she did it to, you know, get more attention on herself. These women probably don't even, if you were to be, if they were to be real honest, don't even want bigger butts for themselves. They probably like being thin, you know, and having sort of like a, a normal, regular body, right? But they do it because a lot of these women are lonely. They're single. They want to spice up their dating life. Maybe they went through a divorce and they go and they get these surgeries because they want to look good. They want to look good. But they're not doing it for themselves. That's a, that's BS. They're doing it because they want more male attention. That's exactly why they are doing it.